But one of the questions I always get is about this, the cross. Why, why aren't there crosses in all sandals buildings? You see, you guys don't understand that there's 2,000 years of Christianity. Very few of them have this symbol as our symbol. Matter of fact, if you go to Boston and you look at all the pilgrims, the early graveyards, you will not see a cross anywhere in the graveyards. Do you know what it is? Skulls. For us, that feels demonic. Whoa. They thought this was demonic. This was a symbol of oppression. And when you go to the old graveyards, their skulls believing in the resurrection, that they will rise, not a cross in the graveyard. Now, I don't have anything wrong with this. I wear it around my neck. But some of you are like, oh, where's the cross? If there's, not a, if there's not a physical cross. Let me tell you something. America is full of churches with a physical cross, and they don't preach the cross. You see, having a cross on your building doesn't, does not mean you've come to the cross. I posted a, a post over Christmas talking about why saying Merry Xmas is actually more Christian than us saying Merry Christmas. And I went through this whole reason. I went through the Greek. I went through the Latin. I posted it all. And somebody posted, I don't know who it was because they got zero followers, but they posted, I just think you're wrong. <laughs> I'm like, with the evidence? Christos in Greek begins with the letter X. X. And we abbreviate things when they're titles of honor. Amen. Doctors, lawyers, right? Mr., Mrs. We abbreviate things that have titles of honor in them. Well, people are like, well, we're just going to have to agree to disagree. I'm like, what, on the evidence? <laughs> have you ever asked yourself this question? Why on earth did the Jews miss Jesus? Why? because they were more into arguing with one another about their traditions than they were interested in the Messiah, the son of the almighty God who stood in front of them. Listen to Jesus, Matthew 15, three. Jesus replied, and why do you by your traditions violate the direct commandments of God? Some of you, I love you, but you love your traditions more than you love Jesus. You love your traditions more than you love Jesus. What we need to do is say, Jesus, teach me who you are. Teach me how to love you. We should all be on a quest to be obedient to God with the scriptures we have within the culture that we live. That's our calling. That's your calling. Instead of saying, God, I don't feel you, say this, God, I don't get you. And God's gonna say, I know. Listen to this. Let me give you a revelation. That's what a revelation is. This is who I am. This is what I am. When's the last time God blew your mind with his mind? In him we live and move and breathe. He is not far from any of us. And oh, by the way, those verses that you call scripture that the apostle Paul is putting in Acts 17 aren't in the Bible. Those are Greek poets and Greek philosophers, pagan, non-Christian individuals who were right. And Paul quotes them and puts it in scripture. 